Hello YouTube, this is a request from a subscriber, a tutorial for Secrets by Jacob Lee. I am in standard tuning and I have a capo here on my second fret. Um, as you can see, not a whole lot going on with my left hand and the finger picking part. It's all happening with this right hand here. And coincidentally, a subscriber also requested a finger picking tutorial. So I'll go into it a little bit here. I don't want to go into it a whole lot. I'll make a separate lesson for the finger picking. Um, but it's crucial to know the finger picking if you want to learn how to play Secrets by Jacob Lee. So we have to talk about it at least a little bit. Okay, so what is our right hand going to have to do here? Well, first of all, when we're finger picking, your thumb is assigned to the top three strings. That's your E, your A, and your D string. So your thumb is responsible for a lot of work, and in this song it's even more work because he does this, this double. So your thumb has to pick twice very quickly. Um, anyway, so your, your thumb gets those three top strings, the E, the A, and the D, and now your index finger is going to get the G string, which is your fourth string down. So you kind of plant that finger, let it hang out right on that G string middle finger is going to go on the B string and your ring finger would grab the E string. So these three fingers you're kind of just leaving there and they're ready to start plucking at your will. And your thumb has to rotate between these three strings. So it's just a lot of practice. Um, there's plenty of other finger picking tutorials out there so feel free to search some of those and um, people explain it much better than I do. So without too much more on the finger picking stuff. Let's talk about how to play the song here. All right, so I'm gonna place the tab up here on the left, um, your right, my left, and we're going to hop right into it here. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a ring finger on that third fret of the A string, and we're gonna pluck twice with our thumb. Then we're going to use our middle finger to pluck the B string. Use our index finger to pluck the G string. Then we're gonna move our thumb from that A string down to the D string to pluck the D string and then pluck the G string again. So it sounds like this. We're gonna do that two times. So one, here's the second time. Now, not much work happens with this left hand, as I've explained. All you do is you put, it can be any finger. You can use your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, your pinky, you put your thumb over there, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, but you want to have your, one of your fingers on the third fret here of the low E string. And now we're going to do something very similar to what we just did, except for now our thumb is going to uh, double pick this low E string as indicated on that tab here. But what's happening with your middle and your index finger is identical. We're still going B, G, D, G. Okay, so stringing that together with the first part we go through each of those twice. So you pick this twice. Then you go to your third fret, the E. And then we're going to transition down to the second fret of the E. And we're going to stay here for four. But you're going to perform the identical 
picking pattern of what you just did. So your thumb will stay on this low E string. And make sure you are using your thumb to pick that D string on the way back up. You're gonna do that three times. And then what happens there on that fourth time is you, you pick twice, you pick your G string once, slide your index finger down, pick your A string twice, and pick your G string again. So that part all sounds like this. Starting here on that second fret of the low E, we're gonna play this three times. Then da 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 da, and then you're right back into the beginning. Okay, so that's the finger picking part. I don't want to spend a ton of time on it. What it's going to take from you is a lot of practice if you don't understand finger picking. Um, there is a chord chart up on Ultimate Guitar if you're just interested in playing the chords, but I wanted to show you how to do the finger picking since this is for a subscriber. Um, this part that I have, I made this up. I just was listening to the song by ear. So if you're one of those, oh, this isn't exactly how he plays it, Please don't comment below. I know it's probably not exactly how he plays it, but this is how I'm listening and hearing it. Um, what I'm doing there, I'm not gonna list the chords out here. Picking this almost C shape to a D, to a G, then I'm going D, add my pinky in to get that G note. Slide my pinky all the way over to the fifth fret, remaining in that D shape. Then I go back to a G, slide this finger up here, bar my fifth fret with the pinky or your ring finger on the seventh fret, and then we're gonna walk down from our eighth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, back to a G chord. And then they do the C chord again, D, G, pinky, slide it all the way up to that fifth fret there, and you're back to a G. Okay, I know that's very difficult. If you're a beginner, you're probably like, oh my god, that's crazy. What's going on? Um, so don't, don't worry too much about this. This isn't really a beginner tutorial. I wanted to make something accurate because there's already chord charts out there and stuff, but you know, how do you play the song? There's no, there's no tabs out there. So that's why I'm doing this for a little bit more advanced players and people who are really willing to sit down and learn how to play this. So, um, I'm gonna walk through that part one more time because I know it's a little tricky. We're going the C chord, D, G, D, add your pinky on that third fret, slide that pinky all the way out to the fifth. If you're not able to do that, you can just slide out there to the fifth and play that high E string. Then we're going G, slide to the fifth, Bar your fifth fret, pinky or your ring finger on the seventh, and then we're gonna walk eight, seven, five, G. And then we go to C chord, D, G, D, add that pinky in on the G note, slide that pinky all the way out, and then you're back to your G. And then it goes back into the finger picking. And you're done. So, that is how you play Secrets by Jacob Lee. This was actually a pretty difficult song to learn. Um, there wasn't a lot of helpful material on the internet, so I had to sit down and really listen to exactly what was going on throughout it. So if this did help you, do me a huge favor and subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends. Um, anything you can do to help me, I really appreciate. This channel is for you guys, and I'm going just off of uh, requests these days, so if you have something you want to learn, go ahead and comment below, and I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you for watching.